It's Friday, and we have your Week in Sports and Birthday Spirit Points update, another Black History Month spotlight, and more coming up next on the Panther Morning News. Morning St. Mary's, I'm Colin. And I'm Mark. And we begin this Friday with Student Life News. What a crowd last night at the Winter Music Concert. Thank you to the fabulous student musicians for such great performances. If you didn't see the show, follow the link on the school website and capture the moment for yourselves. Also, a special word uh, of thanks to the inclusive community for the great fireside chat yesterday at study time. In today's Black History Month spotlight, we have Eddie with a special look. Good morning, St. Mary's. I'm Edgardo, and today's spotlight is on Dorothy Height. Dorothy Height was an African-American civil rights leader who played a pivotal role in the advancement of equality and justice for Black Americans, particularly women. She was born on March 24, 1912 in Richmond, Virginia, and grew up in a family that emphasized the importance of education and activism. Height attended NYU and earned a degree in social work. She began her activism in the 1930s, joining the National Council of Negro Women, the NCNW, where she would later become president. She was also a member of the NAACP and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Hyde's activism in the civil rights movement began in the 1940s, where she worked to end segregation in schools, workplaces, and the armed forces. She organized voter registration drives, and her leadership helped, us, helped to establish the Women's Auxiliary Army Corps which allowed black women to serve in the military during World War II. In the 1950s and 1960s, Hyatt worked alongside other civil rights leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks, advocating for the end of segregation and equal rights for all Americans. She also played a crucial role in the planning of the 1963 March on Washington, where King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. Hyatt was a strong advocate for women's rights and she helped establish the National Women's Political Caucus which aimed to increase the number of women in government. She also worked to ensure that black women's voices were heard in the feminist movement and advocated for equal pay and job opportunities for women. Hyatt was a powerful speaker and author, writing several books on civil rights, including Open Wide the Freedom Gates and Living with Purpose. Throughout her life, Hyatt received numerous awards and honors for her advocacy and leadership, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1994. Thank you, St. Mary's, and have a nice day. Thank you, Eddie. And hey, Panfers, thank you all who participated in Spirit Point dress up and activities this term. Uh, here are the final Spirit Points totals for this trimester. In fourth place, freshmen came with a total of 120 points. Impressive, but unfortunately, uh, not good enough. Sophomores inferred with 145 points. In second place, we have juniors with 175 points. And in first place, the seniors with 180 <laughs> points! Let's go! Congratulations to our seniors, and with this win, you will get relaxed dress for the remainder of the term. A quick reminder that club photos for the yearbook are due today, so make sure to submit your photos to Georgia Rogers. And now, here is Devin with your Panther Athletics. And today in sports, varsity softball is at Piedmont with a 2 p.m. early dismissal. Both baseball teams play over at El Cerrito, and they have a 2.15 p.m. early dismissal. Then tomorrow, it's another soccer Saturday with some hoops to top it all off. Both soccer teams have a 2 p.m. start with the girls battling number two seed Urban over at Beach Chalet, number one over at Golden Gate Park. The boys will host Heldsburg for a ticket to the NCS semifinals. And then tomorrow night at 7, the girls basketball team heads over to Dominican University in San Rafael to take on number two Branson. We will have ticket information on the front page of the school website. Now back to Colin and Mark. Thanks, Devin. And a very happy birthday today to Kiki Burlingham. And this weekend to Nico Laub Sabater. Isaac Lilhan, Elfie Rafaeliti. And Lennon Sutphin. Additionally, also Miss Howe and Mr. Schaefer. Happy birthday to ya! Happy birthday to ya! Happy birthday to you! I uh, it's a pizza day and more for lunch over in the Shea Cafe. Join us Tuesday as we start Task Teacher Season Three Enrichment Week Travel Adventures. 
And that's it for today. Have a great President's Day weekend, St. Mary's. Go out and support soccer and basketball tomorrow. And make sure at this time, follow the link in your email to complete the course evaluation for your fourth period class. Have a fabulous weekend, St. Mary's. Sparkle on St. Mary's.